everyone, we are back doing our test route two. Uh, we're gonna see how it does going down the mountain here. Traditionally, our test doesn't stop, start until the bottom of the mountain, but I think I'm probably changing it to the top up here. So it stops good here. We now have the creep wall, and yeah, I mean, it can go. I mean, it was appropriate, just overly timid. Um, we're gonna see if we can get zero disengagements coming home. Uh, if you saw the last video, we got pretty sure it's one. Obviously, huh, correct myself if it's not. One disengagement for the whole way over, and that was only on navigating autopilot just because I was impatient. Uh, otherwise, it could have made it with zero disengagements, which is pretty good. Surprise! It's not um, doing uh, auto high beams. So I heard. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Um, I heard in version 11 that auto high beams are supposed to be significantly improved. So I'm really hoping that's true. I'm really looking forward to having that work correctly and turn on and off appropriately. So we are good to go. It's still creeping. There we go. Oh no, I don't want to go home home that way. I keep on wanting to go that way, everyone. Um, and honestly, I don't think that's quicker. At least it doesn't feel quicker. There's far, far more turns on that and instead of just like a straight route through town. It still hasn't rerouted. Honestly, the car needs to have two routes in mind. Like, it needs to just already have the second route. It's like, okay, what if I miss this turn? Like, what if there's traffic? What if there's something in the way? Let's already have a second route pre-planned. That needs to happen. Like, that honestly can't take much more resources to have a second route pre-planned uh, to, like, you know, ready to go. Like, because it, it, it can already have the second plan when you go to route from the beginning now. Yeah, it shouldn't be an issue to have that plan um, in the background, in case it's ever needed. So currently, I always go and slow it down right here because it comes in far too hot, hot for this merge right here. And it doesn't turn the blinker on. It doesn't slow down appropriately. At least it hasn't in the past. So this is a new version since the last time I've been home. I, I don't think I even did this with 36 dots. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, um, no. That's not good. <laughs> um, that came in way too fast. Didn't adjust the wheel correctly. Didn't turn the blinker on. Didn't try and merge at all. Like, I had to turn the blinker on right there. And, and so, yeah, that that's, that's pretty typical, though, for that spot. It's only done it correctly one time. One time ever. So that's very typical for that location right there. I'm curious, maybe this has map data for this now. Or maybe it just sees the lines and doesn't merge over. So this is good here. A little back to like being good. Because it was good for a while and then all of a sudden a new version screwed it up. That's actually a better, that's improved this turn. Still doesn't, they got rid of the speed signs. It used to show the speed signs but not actually record the speed, uh, like show the speed limit until here. This is map geocoded speed limit versus it used to re show the signs on screen, but this time it didn't. I noticed that yesterday as well, where I was going through town. I didn't record that video, but as I said in the previous video, I was went past the 20 mile an hour sign, didn't show the sign, and then set it to speed to 25 mile an hour based on a geocoded location, which I don't. Again, I don't know where it got 25 mile an hour from. It's just poor map data causes a lot of issues. It likes to, I think we're glitching because it's not showing any lines. I think we are in a glitch state. Still driving. The visualization is definitely not working correctly. There it goes. <laughs> I guess it crashed, now it's back. 
Because what I was going to say is that um, it likes to go into the parking spaces there. Okay, so far too hard of a break. Like, I don't know if this is a camera limitation, a hard-coded limitation, or what. When it sees these red lights way off in the distance, and there's stop cars, it needs to start slowing down sooner. It waits far too long for it to stop slowing down, then it has to jam on the brakes. One wastes energy, and makes it less comfortable, more importantly, to the passengers. I am not sure what that was about. Someone maybe me or the guy in front of me was texting or something and wasn't paying attention. Again, I still think this is like look at this, it's just so slow to get over. And it doesn't then it does a double Okay, like that. Let's go ahead and record that. That can potentially be a serious issue. Uh, the fact that it swung back over and didn't get into the lane. This is why I think it just needs to go ahead and get in the right lane ahead of time. So it only make, needs to make one lane change uh, at the exit, or entrance ramp, rather. So again, right here, it doesn't turn the blinker on. It needs to turn it on now, and I did that manually. So it would get over. Like, this was a great merge, as long as it turns the blinker on at the appropriate time. And perhaps version 11 will do that. Hello everyone, unfortunately my camera decided to stop recording, but so really is nothing else of note here. Um, we were basically almost home, just a few minutes uh, left. Uh, we had an unprotected left that did well, which is a little bit hesitant, otherwise everything was good. I appreciate you guys as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!